Hello and welcome on board, everybody. I am Scruffy Tam, your pilot on Scruffy Tam Airlines, where we wear crazy socks all the time. This series is a tour of uninhabited islands in the Pacific Ocean, and we'll slowly make our way over to the main Hawaiian islands, learning some history about these islands that are, some are very tiny. Uh, there's actually one reef We'll see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets as we go. Let me give you a quick recap on what we're going to be doing. This will be an eight, um, eight video series. One video a week will be posted on YouTube. We're going to start right here at uh, Midway. Midway Wild, uh, Wildlife Refuge. And then we'll fly over here to what we lovingly dub Pork Chop Island. You'll see why in the video. Then we'll fly over to these little tiny remote islands as we travel the Pacific Ocean all the way to the main Hawaiian islands, finally ending up right here on the main island of Hawaii at Airport PHTO, Papa Hotel Tango Oscar. Along the way, we'll discover beautiful beaches humongously tall sheer cliffs jungle and a lot of other surprises volcanoes so i hope you enjoy this eight part series videos we will be posting every wednesday at 2 p.m eastern standard time starting with this one also don't forget my united states coast to coast tour videos which post every friday at 2 p.m uh, that's a 30 part series that will post one every Friday at 2 p.m. until May the 1st. After this Pacific Coast tour, I am right now on twitch.tv slash scruffytam doing more ocean island tours. So be sure to come in, say hello, give me a follow, check it out. Hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, I wish you clear skies, light winds and favorable conditions as you fly. Take care of yourselves. Hope to see you on a stream soon. See us later. I am out. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Whoa. I forgot I had on my green shirt. <laughs> this shirt <clears throat> kind of blends in with my green screen and uh, I had forgot about that. So uh, floating head stream, floating head stream. Uh, I thought I'd change things up with a shirt. I usually wear a darker shirt. I may, uh, I may end up going to change because this is kind of weird. Uh, anyways, so today, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we're going to be flying uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, we finished our U.S. Coast to Coast tour yesterday evening. During the flight yesterday evening. Uh oh, and I don't know why. Let's see here. One minute. <clears throat> the game has decided to start me. I realize I'm not on the PC screen yet. But the game decided to start me in the air. I want to start on the ground. So, let me go back and try this all over again. Anyways, I finished my Coast to Coast USA tour yesterday. It was uh, really, really awesome to finally finish that up. I had been... I was committed to finishing it. And I finally finished it up. So pretty excited about that. Ice man, how's it going? How are you this morning? Good to see you, friend. My fellow Southerner. All right, let me enter in my flight data really quick. All right, there we go. Um, my call sign will be in 92. Oops. 
ST. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we'll generate a flight plan really quick. How are you this morning, Iceman? Good to see you, by the way. There we go. That's a little bit better. Our, our flight should take a little more than three hours today. A little more than three hours. Um, so I'm not... I really don't know if I'll be streaming that long. I'm doing fantastic, Iceman. Doing really well. Thank you so much. All right. Now let me get... There we go. Okay, so now I should be set. Set as the departure. Hopefully we don't start off in the air this time like it started me off earlier. All right, so today we're gonna be flying the uh, Hawaiian Islands. We're st we'll start out at, I think it's Midway, uh, like a National Wildlife Refuge or something like that. And then we'll fly over all the islands and end up on the, the big island. I don't know that much about Hawaii. So anyways, it looks like a bigger island to me. Go ahead and switch to the sim. Uh, the weather's looking like it's going to be uh, stormy. So I may, right now I'm on, um, I did change the time. So we'd have some, so we'd have some light. And I'm on live weather. I may change that depending on how the weather looks because what's the use in doing a scenic flight when you can't see anything, right? So we'll see. See how that works out. All right, let me uh, get my things all ready here and we'll, uh, we'll be ready for takeoff. <clears throat> get my checklist out oh i gotta put on my uh obligatory christmas light necklace as well because it is uh december right there we go all right i got my necklace on um so at least my head isn't floating quite as bad as it was earlier at least you can tell that there is something there I wonder how it looks if I turn the lights on. Let's see here. Can you guys see the lights flashing? You know what? The batteries are dead. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Get my checklist out. So, uh, pre-flight. I hope everyone is doing really well today. I've ha I had a fantastic... <clears throat> Had a really good night's sleep. I, I, I had a late night stream last night. I streamed until a little after 11, I think it was. All right, ignition switch off, avionics off, master switch on. Where is the master switch that it's talking about? Let's see here. All right. Fuel level, we do need to check our fuel level. So let's go ahead and fuel all the way up for this flight. So we are fueled up. Avionics on, we'll turn the avionics on next. Not that it's not, really not gonna do anything because we don't, there we go, master power, there we go. That's what I was looking for, the master switch. All right, fuel selector on both flaps. All right, so let's check the operation of all of our things here. <clears throat> Make sure our plane is operating properly. So ailerons working. Let's check our flap operation. Go to full flaps. Flaps are extending. Tomos, how's it going, Tomos? How are you? 
good day good morning to you or good morning to you from me but it's probably good afternoon right for you all right check our elevator how are you doing thomas really good to see you i need to do some shout outs by the way um we've got iceman that is in here and here is thomas any liters of sweat of mine and that enjoy this short clip camera. Oh, that was a grave mistake of Tomo's. <laughs> ah, that was the greatest mistake. Why did I do that? Are you shooting me? I crashed into the ground. Third place right now for Tomo's. Can he catch up? Now the real, now the real. F All right, that was a short clip of one of Tomo's streams. If you don't follow Tomo's or Iceman, uh, well, well, well worth the the time and the effort to follow him so go follow him three in the afternoon awesome awesome i'm glad you're doing well it is uh, 9 20 a.m for me so we just checked all our controls flight controls are good and let's go back inside and continue our checking here All right, so before we start passenger briefing, let's go ahead and do our passenger briefing really quick. Turn the music off. Good morning, everybody. This is Scruffy, your pilot of Scruffy Tam Airlines. And today we're gonna to be doing a touring flight of the Hawaiian Islands. Yes, we're gonna be doing some Hawaiian, Hawaiian Island hopping today. I get a tour of the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, this flight, this tour should last just shy of four hours. This is a four-hour tour. Uh, didn't want to do a three-hour tour because we know how that worked out for Gilligan and their friends. So I said, no three-hour tour. So no, it's going to be a four-hour tour of the Hawaiian Islands, and we'll be taking off momentarily doing our pre-fight checks. Uh, the flight attendants will be around once we get airborne. And give you some light refreshments if you're if if you desire those. Other than that, enjoy the flight, and I'll be back with you soon. All right. So uh, we did our passenger briefing. Uh, seats and belts are adjusted. Circuit breakers in electrical equipment. Uh, let's see here. Master switch on. And let's go ahead and start things up. Oops, I did not mean to turn what I just turned. There we go. All right, so we have the aircraft started. Turn on our lights. And today, let's see here. I think we will be good at an altitude. For the most part, we're going to be flying low. Looks like our highest altitude is going to be just shy of 13,000 feet, but that'll be towards the end of the flight. So uh, we'll fly low and slow today. Let's say uh, 1,000 feet. So we'll go ahead and set, uh, set for 1,000 feet. Let's see here. We'll see. Low and slow. I don't know. Not in the helicopter today. I, I still haven't. Yes, Tomos. The coast to coast trip. I finished it yesterday evening. Coast to coast trip is done, friend. We are done. Uh, so, yeah, it, it went really well. I was very pleased uh, with. very pleased it was a nice nice little flight it was a short stream short flight thank you yeah it was my first big flight sim project and we did finish it up yeah and i was i was committed to finishing it and we did finish it up last night so thank you so much i appreciate that Thomas. thank you for all the support and thank you for uh for all the help from you and and all the other flight simmers that have uh, joined my community and we're here for the help 
I truly do appreciate that. All right, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and I would like to depart. Let's see. Trying to see which way I'm heading here. Yeah, I think I'll just depart straight out. So we'll be flying out of runway six is what I would like to do. So let's see here. We'll depart south. No. Part north. Papa Mike Delta Yankee traffic Cessna November 9 or two Sierra Tango taking off runway six departure to the north. All right, that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and taxi. Alpha Mike Delta Yankee traffic Cessna November 9 or two Sierra Tango is taxiing to runway six. Knock off the park break. And uh, I don't think we need a pushback. We should just be able to, we should be good just to go forward and to the right. Yeah, I was really excited to, to finish that. Uh, is my like you said, my first big flight sim project uh, behind us, and so now until uh, until I come up with something else, we're just going to be doing some tours of different places around the world. I did a little Google search this morning trying to find you know where I wanted to see, and and the Hawaiian Islands is something that I've been wanting to see. And so I thought we would, uh, would, would start out right here. Yeah. Next step journey around the world. Holy crap. Um, I, I may do that, you know, maybe once per week or something like that. Uh, but for now, for now, I think I'm good. Just do some, doing some scenic stuff because wow, these, these around the world tours, um, you and someone else that I've that I've been watching recently and I can't remember who they uh yeah that's it Captain Arash yes wow that's really overwhelming wait a minute now sorry about that my phone is yeah I know sorry about that my phone is ringing Oh yeah, Iceman. Yes, yes, yes. Iceman was one. Uh, it just, it's its pretty, pretty overwhelming. And so I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. But we'll see. Maybe as I gain experience, gain more knowledge. Um, one thing I mentioned yesterday or, or in last night's stream, I am considering... Um, trying for my private pilot's license in real life. I'm still just looking at the costs and, and stuff like that. I do know that I need to, um, it's a significant investment, like a huge investment. So I'm going to have to save up some money, uh, to be able to do that. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, head out here uh, i did find you know i've been talking about where i did do one pilot's lesson when i was uh, much younger and it was in 1994 august uh i've got my i found my pilot's logbook it was in august of 1994 and it was six tenths of an hour i spent six tenths of an hour flying Uh, but I've been doing some research on the cost of and, and how much, you know, time investment and stuff. And, and really the cost and the time investment all depends on how quickly you can learn. You know, I'm a pretty quick learner, especially when I can do hands on stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm definitely uh, something I'm definitely going to think about for sure all right taxiing down to the end of the runway going a little fast uh, 
um, and, and I've said this many times too I have always um, enjoyed flying and been fascinated with fight with fight with flight and flying and so this this simulator has really really kind of fueled that fire oh there's Iceman Iceman's joining us in his helicopter uh, by the way anyone else anyone else that is on stream and wants to wants to join us uh, I'll sit right here and feel free to go ahead and join us in fact I'm probably going to take a quick uh, potty break because I drank a bunch of water right before stream which really wasn't too smart of an idea but yeah let me go ahead and set the parking brake set the parking brake I'm going to turn turn you guys on some music and I'm going to run to the bathroom right here beside me and uh, I'll be right back Hang tight just a minute. Enjoy some Christmas music as you wait. back okay so now let's see here we have tag seats so before takeoff parking brake set seats and belts adjusted cabin doors locked flight controls uh flight instruments checked fuel level checked mixture we've got the mixture rich uh throttle at 1800 magnetos throttle at idle so everything should be set i gotta set my flaps and uh yeah yeah we should be we should be good to go people um so let me make a quick announcement and good morning once again passengers this is your pilot scruffy from scruffy tam airlines uh we are on the runway we are clear for takeoff and uh i hope you will enjoy this tour of the hawaiian islands our estimated tour time is three hours and 32 minutes right now we do have um thunderstorms in the distance so there may be some turbulence uh, so i am going to keep the seat belt sign lit if the thunderstorms do clear up i will take that off and you'll feel free to walk around the cabin or, or whatever but uh anyways enjoy the flight and uh i will uh, hopefully point out some things as we go all right everybody ready buckled up ready for takeoff I'm going to do something I haven't done before, and that's go to the camera view for a takeoff. How about that? Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Iceman, you ready to roll? Iceman is rolling. You know what i should have checked to see if there was um any kind of information on flight sim.to or anything 
any sort of photogrammetry or whatever that I could have loaded um, so that we could see more. Change my heading. Oh, flaps off. Just the fuel mixture a little bit. Just my camera a little bit. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the internal view really quick. Just my heading. Which I thought I was at a... I thought I was at a pretty good heading, but not so much. Oh, that's the problem. I never did turn it on. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, Thomas, no, I did not. I was on uh, one of Shoney Gaming streams. And man, I was so impressed by Shoney's uh, livery. And it just so happened the artist one of the artists there's two artists that, that does shoney's uh liveries but one of the artists was on his stream and so i messaged them and asked them would they be willing to do one for me so uh so yeah it was um it wasn't really expensive um uh, you know because i have i've paid for emotes and stuff like that so it wasn't really expensive compared to doing those um but it wasn't Anyways, it was well worth it. Well worth it. I love, I love this. Uh, they they put you know a sock on the side. Of course, my tail number, uh, my uh, my logo on the tail. A different sock, of course, because we can't have matching socks. A different sock on the other side, and then and then my name on the uh, bottom of the wings as well. So they did a fantastic job. Uh, thank you, Tomos. I probably could have done it uh, because I've got I've got Paint Shop. I mean, uh, my, uh, not Paint Shop, Photoshop. I've got Photoshop, but just the time investment. I didn't really want to invest the time to do it. So, you know, whatever. But thank you, thank you, Tomos. I think they did a fantastic job. What is going on right here? Oh, the sun. Jeez, that was stupid. <laughs> what is this bright ball in the middle of the clouds with a reflection on the water? Is it a UFO? Or is it just the natural phenomenon called the sun, which is a huge star out in space that gives us light? Boss is texting me. Let me uh, text him back really quick. Sorry about this. All right. So it's looking like uh, weather may be an issue for us. So I may switch from live weather to uh, create my own weather. We'll see. I'm just changing my heading just a little bit because I'm, I'm flying off course. Off course some. Um, 
all right oh oh by the way i did add some commands i did add some commands uh based off of a new tool that i'm using so if you want to know what the commands are if you type in exclamation mark commands exclamation mark commands will show you what those commands are there we go i'm gonna move the sun behind me as well Ooh, the weather's looking rough so yeah i think i'll do that wait a minute what's going on oh my gosh what it oh that didn't work out Well, I guess it did work out, but my bot thinks I'm asking. Uh, it thinks I'm putting in the commands. Uh, yep, I need to change that. Thank you for testing that for me. I should have already tested that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, you tested it. It started every command. I had no idea that it was going to do that. Oh well, it's okay. That's what happens when you're uh when you do stuff live. I should have tested it before I started stream. There's Iceman flying along with us. You know, I guess I could change my altitude just a little bit. Um I'm at a thousand feet, but we're at sea level, so maybe I'll go to five hundred feet. All right, let me adjust the altitude. Let's see here. I think we'll go to 600 feet. How about that? Turn FLC on. And. I did not mean to. there we'll we'll just kind of cruise um no i am using um to do, do, do flight no sim toolkit sim toolkit there we go Uh, sim toolkit also has a uh, a gps of a, a, a vor um tool that i'm using so instead of using um instead of using little nav map i've been using this what i don't really like about this is it doesn't give the altitudes uh, for different things so I do have um, little nav map still pulled up so I can look at the altitudes. But other than that, I use this for my flight planning and stuff. And it has an overlay so I can overlay all the flight information across the top of my screen. And I may eventually do that. But for now, just, just do it a little bit at a time. Turn on some music. I'm one that likes to uh, keep things fresh on my stream, do different things, try out different things. And so I'm also looking at different music options. Currently, I subscribe to a uh, to a music service that I use to produce my videos with. And so I pay for that. So I, I like to use those, but it's the same songs over and over. And so I'm, I'm kind of looking at like screen beats or something like that to give some variety to the music. All right, so right now we're flying over the Pacific Ocean, just kind of a uh, nice quiet flight as we fly the Hawaiian Islands. Still got a little ways to go before we reach the next island. So I may go ahead. In fact, not may I am. I'm going to go ahead and speed up a little bit. Is 
then once we get to our next destination i'll slow down a little bit so we can enjoy it i'll also knock autopilot off once we get to our next destination as well do some manual flying around um the volcanoes and the islands and stuff like that but uh, i hope everyone's doing well Oh, wait, I need to move my camera there. My controls camera is something I added yesterday evening. Uh, so you can see, so you can see my controls right now. The plane's just kind of flying itself. So there's not a whole lot of input for me to give. The only thing I don't like about my controls camera is uh, where you can see my belly. <laughs> But I'm working on that. I'm working on uh, getting re reducing my belly, so uh, it's it's not it's not quite a belly cam as well as a controls cam. But for now, enjoy the views of my controls and and the belly. There's Iceman. Iceman is in a helicopter, but because I don't own that helicopter, it's showing up as an airplane. I'm really surprised that there are not anyone else currently flying the sim that's that's flying this flight path. I'm really surprised I haven't seen another person out here. Speaking of which, if you'd like to fly along, you are welcome to fly along. Everyone's welcome to fly along. In fact, I kind of enjoy having, you know, kind of doing the, the group flights. Holy crap, wait a minute now. My flight plan is now saying it should be take 10 hours. So maybe this is something that I'll do in sections as well, because trust me, I'm not going to be here for almost 11 hours today streaming. Um, it looks like we are still a, quite a distance away from our next island. Wow, I did not plan this out. Well, I guess I did plan it out okay, but I based it off the original estimated time of a little over three hours. But I guess maybe once I put in what aircraft I was flying, it changed and I didn't realize that. Wow. So we may just do this in sections. So we're going to be seeing a lot of the Pacific Ocean right now. a lot of the pacific ocean as we fly from uh midway wildlife refuge i think it is in the pacific ocean and we're gonna fly all the hawaiian islands i just discovered it's gonna take way longer than what i initially anticipated but that's cool that's cool we'll just divide it up into sections Let's see what the live weather's looking like have we have we gotten past the storm system yes we have i'm gonna keep live weather up now just for the aesthetics really really beautiful weather out here in the pacific and maybe i should have chosen another aircraft <laughs> but that's okay we're gonna test the limits of fuel uh we still have plenty of fuel 93 percent left i'm gonna try to lean it out a little bit see how much i can lean it before uh it causes there we go so that's as lean as i can go right um, let's see here. Where are we at? Yeah, that's too rich. Lean it out. 39, 40, 41, 41. Okay, so this is about as lean as I can go. Just trying to conserve fuel. Yeah. 
<laughs> I know, right, Iceman? Dude, Iceman, I have um, the next the next island. I think we can make it to the next island. Hopefully, it's got a little airport or an airstrip or something where we can land. Uh, which I still have 93% fuel left, so I'm in I'm in good shape fuel wise. But this is something I need to keep in mind is how to plan for this. So that, that's that's quite fun. So if you're just joining me, uh, when I initially set up this this flight plan for the Hawaiian Islands, I had no idea how long of a distance it was. And the uh, flight tool that I use estimated a little over three hours. Well, just a few minutes ago, I discovered that the flight plan is actually going to take almost 11 hours. So this is not going to be a one stream flight. I'm going to divide this up over the next uh, couple of streams. Uh, today, I do plan on streaming for probably about two more hours, a couple more, maybe two and a half more hours today. Do they use Microsoft Windows? Yeah, Rock. What's going on, Rock? How are you? Yes, they very well may use Microsoft Minutes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, I was really shocked uh, when I looked up and saw how long this is going to take, but that's okay. It will probably, probably take longer than that because each island that we fly up to, I want to kind of do a tour of the island, fly low and slow around it, check things out. I do have one viewer flying along with us, uh, Iceman. There we go, Iceman333, who's also a streamer flying along with us. The ICAO, um, you know, Iceman, I don't know how to look that up. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Pull up a little nav map really quick. There is a very, very, very tiny island um, called Southeast Island. It looks like there is no airstrip there. Uh, let's see here. So the next one. The next, oh my gosh, I really did not plan this out very well. The little nav maps. Okay, so it looks like the next one is gonna be um, Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo. Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo. P H B K. Oh, it's quite a distance away. It is a long ways away. So we may just end up having to land on one of these small islands and make our own airstrip. We will see. So yeah, like if you want to know the ETE, I can, we can type in exclamation mark ETE and it'll tell us, well, it should. Can I fly into the water? If I had, uh, I could, if I had the, uh, the floats, but this aircraft doesn't have floats. So, um, I'm, I possibly could, could pull off a water landing, but I'd never be able to take back off. We would just, we'd be stuck until someone rescued us. But yeah, they do have aircraft with floats, so that that is a thing. I'm not sure why that command isn't working. This command should work. ETE. There we go. So the current ETE. ETE 
is uh 10 hours and 51 minutes oh my gosh ice man i am so sorry i, I really did not plan this out very well did i what i should have done is started out on uh one of the bigger islands and just flown the main islands Uh, there's just some really really tiny islands along the way and i thought they i thought that they were going to be bigger than what they ended up being so my apologies to you iceman let me know let me know if you uh, sink into the water and i'll send send a rescue crew out so for now it's just enjoying a flight Average Kim, thank you for the host. How are you doing? Yes, a floating head stream. I had no clue. I, well, I did have a clue. I forgot that I was wearing this shirt until uh, I had already started. I had already started stream. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, Ice Man, you got floats. <laughs> what uh what game is that kim outlast okay gotcha so w what i had anticipated being a nice uh a nice tour of the hawaiian islands is actually turning out to be a tour of the pacific ocean <laughs> with uh, some really tiny islands along the way before we get to the main Hawaiian islands. And I apologize for that. Uh, we may actually run out of fuel before we get to an airport where we have the capability of refueling. We'll, we'll, we'll see. The scariest game you've ever played in your life. Wow. And as you can tell, this game is really taxing my graphic card. Uh, you see the water kind of loading in a little bit at a time. So uh, I've got a uh, uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX 1080. I bought it right before the new ones uh, came out. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah, I finally got it adjusted where it's not like a belly cam. Although although it is kind of a belly cam. <laughs> but yeah, there's not a whole lot to see right now until I go to land and, and you know, adjust throttle and stuff like that. But I thought it would be pretty cool to to show all that oh that's okay kim thank you i appreciate the lurk thank you no worries i lurk in a lot of people's channels and don't say hi just because a lot of the time i don't really have time to start a conversation well i have time to start one but i don't have time to finish one so a lot of times i do just lurk in other people's channels so totally understood All right, we're coming up on something here. It may just be the way... Oh, you know what? I think it's just the reflection of the atmosphere. It's the reflection of the clouds. A little while ago, I saw the sun and was thinking that it was some kind of phenomenon. And then I realized it was the sun. I was really surprised by this bright round circle in the clouds. Thought it was UFO. Turned out it was initially just a UO. I don't think the sun flies. Could, could we say that the sun technically flies? Does the sun move? By the way, does the sun rotate? Or does the sun, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's interesting. Daiki, what's going on, Daiki? How are you? I'm fantastic. Let me give Daiki a shout out as well. Um, Daiki is a flight simmer. Uh, please go follow Daiki Decimus. Enjoy this uh, short clip of their stream. But how are you this morning, Daiki? Really good to see you. Really good to see you, friend.
It has its own course through the Milky Way and it's fast. Cool. I just wondered. Um, you're fine. Okay, awesome. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I had this really, really cool idea. Let me let me pull up little nav map and I'll show you guys. Um, so, so I had this amazing idea. And my, my idea was would start out um, over here at um, what's called Midway. Midway, um, let's see here. Midway National Wildlife Refuge. I said, oh, that'll be a cool place. And then I said, hey, we'll check out all these little islands on our way to the big Hawaiian islands. Little did I know that there's no other airports between Midway and the main Hawaiian islands. So we're probably going to end up running out of fuel at some point. Also, I estimated it would take almost a little over three hours. It turned out it's going to take 11 hours to do this entire thing. So yeah, my apologies for all the, uh, the water. Wait, so you're saying the sun, that the sun has a lot of water and Iceman is flying along with us. Uh, everyone else is invited, in, in, invited, invited to fly along as well. Um, I can kind of give you an estimate of where I'm at since there's no airports that you can really, you know, technically um, take off from and catch up. Where's Maverick? Oh, uh, let's see here. One minute. Wait a minute. I'll show you. Hey, they're my co-pilot. It's it's me and Maverick. See, there I am. There's Maverick. Look at all Maverick-y. Um, and by the way, they are a ghost. The, you can only see them from the outside. So when I go to the inside camera view and we look over, they are not there. So I have a ghost as a co-pilot who's only visible from the external view. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm not. I didn't realize that. This is true. So we are coming up on the next body of land. Is, is it a body of land? No, it's a body of water and a piece of land. I don't know. We're coming up on the next island. How about that? Volcano. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much in the Pacific. That's what they are as volcanoes. So we're coming up on the next volcano. Uh, still a little ways out, but we are we are coming up on it. Technically, I'm going to change my heading by just a couple degrees. Also, there we go. So uh, before stream, actually this morning, my wife kind of wanted me to do some straightening up around the house. So before stream, I, I thought about this and I looked and guess what I found? I found my pilot's log from my very first pilot's license, uh, pilot's lesson that I took uh, way back in. I had to flip through this thing. Uh, it was... Uh, August 6th, August 6th of 1994. August 6th, 1994. So the day before Tam the OG's first birthday, um, I did my first pilots, my first pilots lesson. And uh, here it is. I had, uh, I had six tenths of an hour in the air and I was done. I, I enjoyed it, but uh, I got really I got sick as a dog. But I didn't realize that was the day before Tam the OG's first birthday. So what was I thinking about on Tam the OG's birthday? Hey, let's go flying. Yeah, so I'm seriously considering uh, starting back, doing some research to see, you know, how much it's going to cost now and, and all that good stuff. <laughs> but Iceman, why would I want to do that? Um, I just changed two degrees. I am so sorry. Um, let's see here. 
I am flying at 92, a heading of 92. Sorry about that. I just changed it just a little bit because um, I was flying off the course on my uh, on my navigational map. Apologize for that. I enjoy having people fly along with me. I just don't communicate with them what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, my flight. Dakey, I am so sorry I missed I missed that comment. Yeah, there's a lot of water. Uh, we're flying over the Pacific Ocean. We have a little bit of land and a lot of water. Oh, you're welcome, Ice Man. Again, I apologize. One day I'll remember to inform my viewers uh, when I make changes. I'm not sure if that's a command. Is that one of the commands? H H D G. Let's see. H G. Nope. Okay. So we're just cruising along. Cruising along out here in the Pacific Ocean. Wow, it's not even giving giving us the course. Um, I can't remember what the commands are. Oh, route. Um, try route. Route will give you the uh, route will give you the route. Trying some new things to make it more interactive for viewers so you kind of know what's up. So yeah, there's there's the flight plan. Um, the ETE, also known as the ETA. But if you type in exclamation mark ETE, it will give you um, the estimated time of arrival, which is 10 hours and 40 minutes. Y'all, I was not thinking. Well, I was thinking. But I guess... The estimated time initially was based off of like a, um, a an airliner and it had like three hours and 40 minutes or something like that. So I said, oh, that's doable on one stream. So then when I plugged in my uh, 172, basically Blondie, hey, welcome to the channel. How are you? Welcome back. Let me give basically Blondie a shout out. Y'all check out basically Blondie. Oops, that's a can. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> uh, just me adjusting the sails. It's fine. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's a short clip of basically Blondie playing Sea of Thieves. Uh, you're very welcome, basically Blondie. I have not had an opportunity to catch one of your streams live. I have watched uh, a couple of VODs actually. And I'm going to apologize for the floating head stream. This shirt that I'm wearing, I forgot, is uh, a green screen shirt. And so uh, it's kind of just making my head float. So I've got, I've got a floating head and hand stream today. I figured I'd wear a different shirt. I find myself usually, you know, kind of stuck with the same shirt every time I stream. And I said, oh, I think I'll change things up. And here we are. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, on my channel, I'm all about all about streamers. Oh, that answered your next question, Ice Man, about the floating head. Yeah, so if I if I put my green screen down, you'd be able to see. Um, no, you wouldn't either. I'd have to I'd have to take that filter off. Anyways, so I'm all about. Um, promoting other streamers because hey we've we all had a starting place and it really helps to, to be shouted out and have other people follow you so hopefully that helped out all right let's see here pull up my nav map and the next island is probably going to be so freaking small that we're not even going to see it yeah well well yeah maybe not yeah so check this out Here's our plane. Here's the next. Here's the next piece of land. Oh, Kim. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. I try. 
I try. I'm not the best, but I try. I love that reindeer emote. Holy crap. Is that one of yours? No. That is precious. That, that reindeer emote is freaking precious. I love that. Oh my gosh, and they have another one too. Oh, those are really, why didn't I think of stuff like that? Now I feel like I'm copying somebody if I do something like that. Oh, you grabbed them pre-made, so those are yours. Oh, I see that now. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. I, I didn't, I never thought of getting pre-made ones on Etsy. Oh, they're awesome. Really, really cute. So are those the only two or? Yeah, no doubt. That's really, that's a really good idea. So we're currently flying um, live weather. I did change the time. Let me see what the time's looking like now. Uh, so 1137, yeah, it's still dark. So, I mean, I could do live time and then instead of just seeing water, we could just see a flashing light. A black screen and flashing lights, right? Oh, those are the only two you have? Oh gosh, I really like that though. Those are really, really cute. So let's do this. There we go. We'll go to, we'll go to sunset. I mean, excuse me, sunrise. Maybe get some good views here. So it looks like today's stream is going to be pretty much just flying over the Pacific Ocean. And if we luck out, if we luck out, we might see a little bit of land. If we're lucky, but my goodness, look at the sunrise. Oh, no, Dakey. Dang, I hate that. Uh, by the way, Dahi bringing that up does remind me to tell everyone, hey, you are welcome to fly along. Everybody is. If you'd like to fly along with me, uh, jump on in. I can pull up my little nav map and show you about where I'm at. Unfortunately, there are no airports close by. Yeah, Sea of Thieves. I love watching it. I've come close to buying it. But uh, right now, I'm, I'm stuck on Flight Sim, so I'm really not buying any, any new games. Which saves me money, I guess. Uh, but Dakey, yeah, if you can get things worked out, uh, please come fly along with me. We got Iceman up there in his uh, H145. Yeah, oh, that's that's right, Dakey. Yep. Well, Sea of Thieves, I think, is something kind of like this, where it, there, there's a learning curve, but once you learn it, um, then, you know, you get better at it the more you play, I guess. But that is one of those games that I had considered uh, playing. Probably the, probably the biggest game that I streamed that was a PC game was um, Subnautica. I played Subnautica for like five hours and I enjoyed it. But it, um, I don't know, I didn't enjoy it enough to keep up with it, you know, to keep on playing it. And, and the only games I play on my PC or is, is when I stream because the PC is as far away from everything in my house as possible so that I don't disturb my wife when she's sleeping or taking a nap or whatever. So it's on the opposite side of the house. Oh, you're having some snow coverage issues. Look at that sunrise, y'all. 
the sunrise reflecting on the water is beautiful <laughs> Zanky's working on this sim and not paying any attention to Tomos being in here. Yeah, Tomos, uh, one of, another one of our flight simmer friends. Uh, so Tomos is a flight simmer. Danky is a flight simmer. Uh, Iceman333, who's flying along with us, is also a flight simmer. All of us are streamers. Holy crap. Look at this. Look at this sunrise. That is beautiful. Let's see here. Beautiful sunrise. All right, I'm gonna go back to external view. I used to fly a lot internal view, uh, which is true to life, of course. But but I like to fly external view on these on these tours like this. We can kind of see different sites and stuff. <laughs> In this case, we can see the entire Pacific Ocean instead of just parts of it. Well, of course, not the entire ocean, but you know what I mean. We're down to 82% fuel, 82% fuel. And Oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad that I'm glad that the uh, little one's sleeping in. So airspeed, um, yeah, I mean, I've got it. I've got airspeed showing on stream, but there should be a command for airstream. I guess I need to do some more playing around. Cause I'm sure it's possible to display that in chat with all the other data, um, that, that this app gives you, we should be able to see that as well. Uh, by the way, if you're just joining my stream, we are, um, I had this really bright idea to fly the Pacific Islands, uh, specifically, here we go, specifically uh, Hawaii. And so I got to look and I didn't do a lot of research, but, but so let me, let me show you what we're doing here. So we started out at the Midway Wildlife Refuge and I'm thinking, you know, my non-knowing geography self is thinking, hey, Midway Wildlife Refuge must be a part of the Hawaiian Islands. So what we'll do is we'll start here a little ways off and then we'll fly to the main islands. And along the way, we'll kind of tour these other islands as we go. Well, Oh, hey, I'm glad that she's still sleeping, though. That's I, I know how that is. I know how it is when the kids sleep in. You're glad they're sleeping in, but you're like, hmm, is everything OK? <laughs> I totally get it. Um, so, you know, I had this bright idea and I, when I typed in the flight plan, it said three hours and like 40 minutes. So I said, hey, that's doable on one stream. Well, it must have been thinking I was going to fly in an airliner. So once I started stream, I realized it's an 11 hour flight from here to the main islands. And these, these little islands are just that little islands with no airports. So chances are I'm going to be running out of fuel before I get, uh, over here. Hey, Furu, what's going on, Furu? How are you? Yeah, thank you, man. I enjoy, um, it's, it's, I've, I finally, I'm finally wearing a shirt 
um, that doesn't show, you know, my belly. So yeah, it took a, took a little bit of working to get it aimed just right. I actually found a tripod that I had that my camera mounts to really well. And so then it was just a matter of aiming it. It's almost, and that's, that may be what I end up doing, just landing on the tiny islands. Uh, the only bad part about it is uh, the refueling. So I'll just have to do a fake refueling. Oh yeah, so rock, when I run out of fuel, just like in real life, the plane will glide until it crashes. Um, now I can restart, once it does crash, I can restart from where I crashed and I can refuel in the air. Yeah, so I didn't wanna, I really didn't wanna show like the stream deck and all that stuff. I just wanted to show the controls. But if I bring the camera too far beside me and behind me, then you can see the monitors and all that. So it is, it is what it is. Yeah, rock, just like in real life. And I have run out of fuel before. Um, one thing I learned really quick early on was so you can pause and the plane stops flying. What I didn't know is it still uses fuel. So I had paused one time, went and ate dinner with my wife, came back, and just as I came back, the uh, the plane ran out of fuel. But you can refuel in the air. Like all I have to do is click right here and just drag this to refuel. I don't like to do that because it's not real life. CKB, what's going on CKB, how are you? So I don't really like to do that, but it's, it's possible. It's possible. So yeah, we got all the, we got all the streamers in here this morning. Uh, CKB is also a streamer, um, as well as Furu, Kung Fu Kangaroo. Let me shout out crazy cosmic bunny really quick. Enjoy this short clip of one of, uh, CKB streams playing Spyro lately. Viper Strike, what's going on Viper Strike? How are you? Good morning to you as well. Welcome to my channel. Good to see you this morning. Uh, so today, if you're just joining me, today we're flying the Hawaiian, uh, we're flying the Pacific Ocean currently. I had this really bright idea that we were gonna fly a lot of the islands out here in the Hawaiian Pacific and I didn't realize how far out I was from the main islands. Dude, yeah, Viper, really good to be here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Um, and let's see here, Furu, I'm gonna shout out Kung Fu Kangaroo. And Viper, are you a streamer? Okay, so Viper Strike is a streamer. So this is Kung Fu Kangaroo. Y'all enjoy this short clip of Kung Fu Kangaroo. I have embraced the way of the beaver. Uh, oh, yeah, Furu. I would definitely be interested. All right, Viper Strike is also a streamer. Let's let's shout out Viper Strike. Uh, Viper, I'll need to follow you as well. I don't think I do. Another flight simmer friend. Heck yes. So enjoy this short clip of uh, Viper Strike stream. There we go. I now, I now follow Viper Strike as well. So over here on in my channel, I do believe 100% in supporting other streamers. I know how important that is. Um, so I like shouting people out. I also like following. So here's one of the islands that I thought was going to be a nice big island to land on and explore. Um, definitely, I would think there's probably not an airport on this piece of land um, that would have fuel. Right? But pretty interesting nonetheless. 
pork chop island. <laughs> oh, making me hungry. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a pork chop really quick, and I'll be right back. No, I'm just kidding. Pretty cool, though. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty neat to see out in the middle of the ocean. Wouldn't want to live there. Imagine having to run to the grocery store. Let's see if I can figure out what the name of that island is. Uh, does it have a name? Yeah, I'm not seeing a name on it. Yeah, I don't know how you would go anywhere. I don't think it's long enough for a runway. So you would have to pretty much have a boat or a helicopter. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to do that. So, um... Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, you're completing a historical journey in the JU-52. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to... We have now... We now... Um, not crown you. We now... Um, whatever. You are here by Porktop Island. Dang right. Dang right. Okay, so this was interesting as well. Check this out. We are... Coming up on the Hawaii Honolulu County line. So I don't feel quite so bad that we're actually coming up on the Honolulu County line. Even though we still have we still have hours to go before we get there. At least uh at least I, I feel a little more accomplished. Yes, Furu has has um officially named that island Port Top Island. I christen. I hereby christen you Pork Chop Island. I wish I had one of those things, you know, that they use. Whatever that's called. I can't think of names of things today, but one of those things that you tell people that they're a knight. You know, I, hear, I hereby knight you. Whatever. Okay, never mind. How about I talk about things I know? Which is very little. Sword, there you go. Yeah, so the, the, there is a sword, but also um, at school, a mace. A mace, that's what it is. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, I just realized I, I am all a scepter. There you go. Thank you. I'm all over the place today. So apparently this is a, su a suburb of, of Hawaii. Uh, so check this out. Ah, uh, we'll there it is. So Honolulu County is what it says. It says this is Honolulu County. And then this border says United States. So I guess Hawaii claimed this. And then we as the United States own this. So that's our airspace, our um, internet, our waters. And then the rest of it's international waters. So that's pretty interesting stuff. See, an educational stream. Aren't you glad you came today? So far today... So far today, we've realized that I've made a really bad mistake in time of this flight. That was that was number one. The second thing we have done is we've named an island in the Pacific. We have named an island Port Top Island. And uh, thirdly, we've we've learned that uh, Honolulu in the United States owns Port Top Island. Yes, I've got my own custom livery. And I love it. I am in love with it. They did a, a, a really, really fantastic job. So I love crazy mismatched socks. Wear them all the time. So we've got one sock here. On the other side is, of course, a different sock. Yeah, the the, uh, the artist did a fantastic job. And then the inside, a, a surprise to me, but I'm super excited about it. They did... Okay, back up. I want to see... I want to see the yoke. Dang it. There we go. So the yoke has my logo in the middle. That was a huge surprise to me that the, that the yoke had a logo... And then they did a purple inlay, the seeds. Come on. 
the seats have purple inlays uh so the detail is just phenomenal i was super super excited well worth the money well worth the money yeah ckb i am just stupid me i wasn't thinking about it um you can see it on my control cam um i'm wearing a i'm wearing a green shirt just something different uh, i usually wear a darker colored shirt and so i i was cleaning out my t-shirt and my sock drawer this morning and i said you know what i haven't worn this shirt in a while i think i'll wear it and here we are floating head stream it's like halloween all over again halloween in december so we're just cruising along uh, the Pacific Ocean today. We do have Iceman 333 flying along, and I think that's it. Anyone else that wants to fly along, hey, jump in here. You are free. Feel free to fly along. In fact, I encourage you to fly along with us. I've got my plane in um, autopilot right now. It's kind of flying itself. Oh yeah, Iceman, do it, do it. Actually, I had the idea at Halloween time, I had bought some green uh, lip liner or lip, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, lip gloss or something green anyways, lipstick. And I was gonna put um, some of it on my on one of my cheeks and on my forehead so it looked like I had holes through my face. It turned out it was a little too dark of a green, so it just looked like I had dirty green splotches on my face, and it really backfired. But it was still a fun idea. So I've just got to find some green this shade, and then I can do that. And then I thought about getting a, a hood, like a um, a mask with just eyes. That's this color. Then it would just be a floating eyeball stream. So maybe for next Halloween. <laughs> answered your next question i'm answering all the questions so yeah pretty much if i um if i knock filters off so if i take this off then you'll see this is how everything looks without the filters in fact i didn't realize i had this gap right here in my green screen i need to slide it over a little bit but this is what it looks like uh, and, you, and you can see that my shirt is a different shade of green than the green screen. So now I'll turn it back on. And we're all set again. I guess you guys can see that. Could you see that? Yeah, you can. Okay. So I'll turn that chroma key back on. There we go. All right. The magic of green screens is really, really incredible. And it doesn't have to be green. You can do you can do different color screens depending on what um, what color you want to do. But I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a red screen. I'm sure you I'm sure there is one. But anyways, I bought this green screen, so I'm using it. I initially thought about just getting a green sheet. I mean, anything that shade or anything a light shade of green will work the thing is if it's a sheet that has a wrinkle in it you'll be able to see the shadow so i bought this um elgato elgato green screen that actually retracts so i can fold it up and get it out of the way All right, the next island, let's see here. Where's our next island? I think we got a ways before we see any more land. Yeah, it's it's quite a ways before we see some more land. Uh, I'll tell you what, Iceman, I'm gonna change my heading again so we can check out this island. Let's see if we can name another island. So Iceman, I'll, Iceman, I'll tell you what my heading will be here shortly. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, you're working? No problem. Thank you, basically, Blondie. I appreciate you being here, and thank you for um, thank you for lurking while you work. I do the same thing in a lot of people's channels. I lurk while I work all the time. But yeah, thank you so much. It means a lot just to have people lurking. All right, so Iceman, I'm at a heading of 127 now. I just changed my heading to 127. Always work lurking. Me too. Me too, basically, Blondie. Um, thankfully, I work a job where that's, you know, it's okay to do that. Okay, I'm going to take a quick restroom break. Really quick. I uh, might refill my water cup too. I'm going to keep the plane in the air. We'll keep the plane in the air. And uh, we'll be coming up on our next next uh, island in just a little while. We've still got a, got a little ways to go. So you guys enjoy some holiday music. And uh, I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, so if you're just joining me, we are flying um, some islands out in the Pacific that are a lot further apart than what I initially anticipated. Uh, my uh, my plans went from a like a three hour forty minute flight to a eleven hour flight, but that's okay. We'll, ju we'll just break it up into segments because I'm going to be streaming for about another hour and a half. And then I'll wrap things up. Won't be streaming this afternoon. Probably won't be streaming um, this evening either. But tomorrow, actually starting tomorrow, I will be able to do a much more regular streaming schedule. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, sorry, I'm checking my checking my, um, my email messages making sure I didn't have anything from work do a quick snapchat to keep up my streaks with my uh, niece and nephew there we go all right now we're done so yeah uh, I'll, I'll show you I'll show you what my plan is my plan is we started out here Midway Wildlife Refuge uh, we just flew over what we have dubbed Pork Chop Island. Uh, where is Pork? There's Pork Chop Island right there. 
Furu Kung Fu Kangaroo named this Pork Chop Island. And so then I changed my heading so that we can fly over this island and we'll check it out. Then I'll change my heading again and we'll head over uh, these islands down here. And then we head on into Hawaii, into the main Hawaiian islands. So that's my plan. Didn't quite work out like I hoped it would, but hey, it's okay. We're seeing a lot of water today. We got Iceman flying along with us and I'll say it again, I'm really surprised that there is nobody else, period, in the world, or at least that that has their uh, name tag showing that's flying out here. So it's just me and Iceman out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I'm uh, risking running out of fuel. Iceman running, risking out of fuel. Uh, Iceman's in a helicopter. I'm in a Cessna 172. Thank goodness it's not real life because I can refuel in the air if need be. All right, we're flying into the sun. I'm gonna check what real weather looks like now. Let's go back to real time. It is still completely dark because it's 3.41 a.m. Out, out here in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, that's true, Iceman, on this server. You're right. I wonder, I, I bet you there would be more if I was on a Pacific server. Yeah, thank you for correcting me on that. So I'm going to go back to sunrise again. And we'll watch the sunrise again. The sun was kind of blinding me anyway. So we'll start with a little bit darker. A little bit earlier in the morning. Well, let's see. How how long do we have before it really is? We still have a little over two hours before it's really sunrise in the Pacific. So we won't be flying uh, real time during this stream anyways. I do too. I do two CKB, so I don't mind resetting to sunrise. Or sunset even, but the sunrises um, are really incredible. Plus, we're flying into the sunrise, so... <clears throat> excuse me, so we'll keep it that way. So yeah, I will be posting on my Discord, um, hopefully, very soon, a regular streaming schedule. Next week, um, I, we're done with students at school. So I can either come in a little bit later or um, leave work a little bit earlier is probably what I'll do and, and stream every evening or every afternoon. Lima Kilo Mike, what is going on? Hello, hello. Dude, thank you. What is your time zone, by the way, um, Lima Kilo? You're almost done with work. Wow. What time zone? Are you in... Um, are you in Britain? Yeah, really nice, to, really nice to have you here. I was going to tell you if you'd like to fly alone to jump on in, but yeah, if you're at work, that's probably not a good idea. But tomorrow, I will be streaming tomorrow. Some more will continue on our tour of the uh, Pacific Islands tomorrow. Nice man, I may need to change my heading just a tad more. I may need to adjust it a couple more degrees. Oh, Germany, okay. 5 p.m. in a bit. So you and um, you and Tomos, I didn't realize you were German. Nice. What do you do for work, Mike? Lima Kilo Mike.
flying into the sunrise today. <clears throat> Sorry, there's not a whole lot of action to show on my controls cam. I've got my uh, I've got my fuel adjusted, the fuel mixture adjusted properly. I've got my um, my engine RPM right where I want it. So there's really not a whole lot to show here. Oh, you're a software engineer for secondary surveillance radars. Nice. Cool. Silver Spell. <laughs> Silver Spell, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. I am Scruffy Tam, a longtime gamer. Been streaming for a little over a year. Um, currently, I am addicted to flight simming, and I apologize. I'm wearing a green shirt today, <laughs> so kind of a floating head stream also. But I hope you're doing well. Let me give Silver Spell a shout out. Silver Spell is an amazing Australian friend of ours over here on our channel. Uh, it's a game called Hold up, hold up. I just a, uh, very well done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. So enjoy, enjoy that clip. But how are you, Silver Spell? And you were playing Prop Night. What is Prop Night, Silver Spell? Well, welcome in, everybody. I call, um, I am known as the Lord of Socks in many people's channels because I always wear crazy mismatched socks. And I am the only streamer that I know of a prop hunt and dead by daylight. Oh, wow. That sounds interesting. That sounds really interesting. I'm the only streamer I know of that has a sock cam. Wow. My socks are on my, uh, my feet are on my shoulders. Okay. So today's socks, I have sushi socks on the right foot. The blue sock is a sushi. It's easy for me to say sushi sock on the left foot. I have uh, Christmas socks or uh, Christmas sock that is holly bushes and berries and those are my socks of the day that sounds really cool prop hunt and dead by daylight wow nice so you, did you have a good stream i hope you had a good stream i am flying the pacific ocean i do plan on coming to visit australia soon on stream in my aircraft but I had this really bright idea that I would do a Hawaiian Island stream and it would take uh, about three hours. It turns out that it's going to take 11 hours. So we'll be flying this for a little while. It was nice and chill. Ended up playing some hide and seek to end with. Oh, so you can play hide... Wait a minute, so in Dead by Daylight, well, Dead by Daylight is kind of hide and seek though, right? But it's hide and seek where when you get caught, you die though, right? It's hide and seek, but when you get caught, you die. Nice, well, I'm glad you had a good stream, Silver Spell. So what time of the day is it for you? Is it night? Is it nighttime for you now? I have such a, I, I need to write down these time zones so I know what time it is for people instead of continuously asking. But I do now know that it's almost 5 p.m. in Germany. Thanks to Limo Kilo Mike informing me of that. Pretty much, you get put into a chair and stay there. Friends aren't allowed to rescue, and you just don't fix the generators. It's nearly 2. Holy crap! Almost 2 a.m. So, yeah, you're fixing to be going to bed. Hey, I totally get it, Silver Spell. I totally get it. When my streams are over, I typically don't spend a whole lot of time in whoever I raid's channel because it's either really late or I have something I need to get, you know, something I need to take care of. But, yeah, thank you. 
2 a.m. QLD time anyways. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you so much for the raid, Silver Spell. You are a, you're an amazing person. Thank you. Y'all go, be sure to go follow Silver Spell. You won't regret it. Sunrise should be happening soon over here in the Hawaiian Pacific. Hopefully. Thank you so much, Silver Spell. Thank you so much for the raid, and, and uh, thank you to everyone who came in with you. I totally understand. Um, sleep well, friend. Sleep well. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you said, see, I can't even see the link, Iceman. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I had a mod in here, they might could um, allow the link, but... Um, even I, as the streamer, I can't even see it. All right, we still got a good little ways to go before we get to our island, um, our next island. I am going to change my heading a little bit, Iceman, um, to 130. See if that, I think I would have missed it to the left just a little bit at the heading I was at. So I've changed my heading to 130. Go back to external view. I got a whisper okay thank you let's see here what my whisper says oh time and date <clears throat> oh nice oh wow thank you so much for that i'm gonna keep that up for now and uh after stream i'll have to i wonder if there's a way i can incorporate that i'm sure there is I bet there's a way that I can make a command for that in whatever country I want the time for, I can make it. Yeah, there is some good stuff. Thank you, Iceman. See, that's what I love about streaming. It's really, it's awesome technology just being able to, first of all, broadcast yourself throughout the whole freaking world. And then um, the, the different things that you can do you can overlay and stuff is just incredible but yeah thank you i did save that <sighs> all right so just to show everyone where we started and where we are now uh, we started out right here at Midway Wildlife Refuge in the middle of the Pacific, oops, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Then we flew over what we um, dubbed to be Pork Chop Island, to Pork Chop Island, right there. Once we got out of the United States airspace, got into back into international waters, we are running a heading of 130 degrees now, and we're going to see what this island looks like and we'll change headings again fly over here over here over here here and here and then finally into the main hawaiian islands uh, my apologies for this flight taking so long but i'm committed to it kind of hard-headed use it on your flight sim community calendar post to convert schedules to anyone's time zones that's really awesome thank you I wonder if I can come up with a command like for, you know, exclamation mark AU for Australia. Joey Bolo, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. How are you, Joey? <clears throat> Good to see you this morning. Morning for me, anyways. Welcome. Welcome to what I call the sock drawer. 
Are you a flight simmer? Thank you for uh, for saying hello, by the way. I love chat. I love it when people are interactive in chat. So thank you for chatting. I think I remember seeing your name in some other flight simmers channels. So uh, welcome to mine. I am a really new flight simmer. I've been flight simming for just, I don't know, maybe three months. Oh, is Joey, is Joey a uh, streamer too? Yeah, let me give Joey a shout out. <clears throat> so check out Joey Bellows stream. bit of singing there on joey's stream so y'all be sure to check out joey bolo uh joey i'm gonna have to go throw you a follow real quick too give me just a minute uh man i am making so many new streamer friends here lately there we go and thank you for the follow as well i appreciate that Thank you so much, Joey. I appreciate that. How are you? How long have you been flight simming? Yeah, dude, quite the voice there. I enjoyed that. I, of course, my music was kind of in, in the sound. The drone of my my uh, plane was kind of overpowering the, the audio from your clip, but that sounded pretty freaking good. Yeah, Joey, thank you so much for the follow and thank you for dropping in. How long have you been flight simming for? is it truly is joey it's all love in the flight sim community i have been totally blown away oh no problem dude do, do your work do the work stuff we need we need our jobs uh yeah i am thoroughly enjoying the flight sim community uh there was one one channel and i wish i had written it down or could remember who it was when i first heard about flight sim i don't think i had even bought it yet and it was after kung fu kangaroo um one of their streams and i went into this channel and i said something about oh i really want this game and like i got just about laughed out of the channel for calling it a game and so that you know i was kind of like dang these flight simmers are some tough people but i uh, know i have found the flight sim community to be amazing very supportive very helpful good bunch of folks i just got a voicemail but my phone didn't ring that drives me bananas when that happens You pretty much know it's a spammer when you get a voicemail without your phone ringing, right? All right, we are at uh, 66, 65% fuel right now. Uh, chances are we are going to run out of fuel, but I'm just going to have to do an in-air refueling or we can just land on one of these islands. That that would be fun. Trying to land on an island. What's really going to be fun is trying to take back off once we land. So um, right now, currently we are here. This was Pork Chop Island from earlier today. And our next next sightseeing is going to be this little island which is named uh lis how do you even say that lisiansky island lisiansky island so i may have to land on this island if it's flat enough 
and then take back off. Yes, Iceman is a serious simmer. I'm really enjoying just kind of the fun of flying right now. Um, I do try to be serious about flying because it is a serious thing, but I also enjoy having fun. So you'll see me do some, some not so, you know, kosher stuff when it comes to flying. I'm also considering trying to get my uh, private pilot's license. One thing you may have heard me talk about, and I finally found it earlier today, was um, my pilot's log. From I did, I did decide in the 90s that I wanted to be a pilot. And so I took one flying lesson. So this is my pilot's log. And my one and only flight lesson was August 6th of 1994, the day before my daughter's first birthday. Um, it's got the tail number of the aircraft. We took off from KGRD, our local airport. Oh, Joey Bello, no problem, man. Um, and it was a six tenth of an hour flight. We did efforts of controls and uh, a straight level. And I can't read the rest of the <laughs> read the rest of the CFI's uh, writing. So, Joey, how long have you been a flight simmer? I am super new to it and uh, I soak up. I'm a sponge of information. So if you uh, if you have any suggestions or if you see something I'm doing wrong, don't don't feel uh, shy to, to tell me, hey, do this or don't do that. Oh, Iceman's lurking on the call also. No problem, Iceman. I appreciate the lurks. I do that a lot on people's channels. Do a lot of lurking. Uh, in real life. Oh, wow. Since 1998. That's really amazing, Joey. And heavily with Microsoft Flight Sim lately. Um, I've been simming for just shy i'll have to look at the date i bought it but just shy of three months still have a ton of stuff to learn but i'm taking it just a little bit at a time but that's pretty incredible that you've been flight simming since that long are you a, a licensed pilot as well by the way or or no Let's see here. They're going to get my maps pulled back up. Only two discovery flights under your belt. Okay, cool. So I've, I've got one discovery. I don't know if they even called them discovery flights back in the 90s. But in 1994, I decided I wanted to get my pilot's license. And I went up with um, one of our neighbors who's a CFI. Uh, he's passed away now. But back then, um, <clears throat> of course, he was still alive. Um, so he took me up and, and we did, we did some stuff and I guess, I guess you could call it a discovery flight, but I discovered that I got airsick way too easy when we were, um, when we were playing around with the controls. And so that was the beginning and the end of my flight career. But this week I have really been, I've, I've reconsidered and I'm really thinking about doing it again. So we'll see. I do have my log book still. I found it this morning. I still have my, my pilot's log from 1994. August 6th, 1994. Six tenths of an hour in the air before um, it, it's, it's, it's a funny story. I, I didn't know that um, small aircraft don't have barf bags in them. Okay, all right, but um, see, I was thinking, 
Discovery of flights can be found in the sim under the activities tab and then discover. See, I might need to do that, but I was thinking Joey was talking about. So Joey, were, you were talking about an IRL discovery flight, right? So correct me if I'm wrong, a discovery flight is when you think you want to be a pilot and you pay someone to take you up in the air. Yes, okay, that's I, I thought that's what you were referencing, Joey. Thank you. <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure I didn't have my terms, my terminology mixed up. Yeah, so what that is, Iceman, it's if you want to, if you think you want to be a pilot, uh, you go and you can do what's called a discovery flight where they kind of take you up in the air and show you what flying is about. And then you find out, like I found out, whether or not you can even do it because of your equilibrium or, you know, inner ear or whatever. Oh, look behind me. I'm sorry. I'm being a horrible streamer. Oh, Lima Kilo Mike is off work and flying along with us. Welcome, Lima Kilo Mike. Thank you for that, Iceman. I haven't looked behind me yet because because no one else was there. But cool. Welcome, my friend. Lima Kilo Mike's coming in. Oh, you finally found me. <laughs> nice. So I have in my research that I've done this week, I have found out just like my pilot friend told me back in the nineties, that if you do get air sick, the more you fly, the more accustomed you get to it. And most of the time you don't get air sick anymore. But I'm telling you that Saturday, that Saturday that I did that, that my first flight, I went home and I stayed in bed the whole day. Like I was sick as a dog. And I decided then that nope, being a pilot is not for me. But that was, you know, a long time ago and I've matured a lot and my body has changed a lot. So we'll see. We'll see. I gotta get, gotta get my finances in order first. Exactly, Bolo. Yeah, yeah. The equivalent of getting your sea legs. You just got to get accustomed to it. <clears throat> and I wish, I wish I would have stuck with it because back then it was a lot more, um, it wasn't as expensive and stuff like that. Yeah, Joey, I hope I'll catch a stream of yours soon too. I enjoy meeting new flight simmers and, um, it's really cool to see people, the overlap of viewers in from one stream to the next. So I'm really, really enjoying that. And look at this sunrise, y'all. It's reflecting off the water. You can you can literally see the sun now peeking over the clouds. The sky is turning red. <clears throat> the Makilo Mike back there. Iceman ahead of us beautiful sunrise beautiful stuff here um let's see if i can get a screen grab of this there we go we're not too awful far away from our next little island that we're gonna look at i don't think i'm gonna land there i've still got 61 percent fuel left so we're good fuel wise so i'm gonna we'll overfly this island and then we'll see what the next island holds for us, which isn't too far away. So just to look really quick, um, this is the next island that we're going to look at. We'll fly over it. I'll probably end up landing at this island. There's no airport, but we'll just do a fake refueling there. That's one good thing about being in game. <laughs> and heck, if I need to, I can refuel in the air. Beautiful stuff here. Good night. That sunrise is just gorgeous. Makes me wish I was there in real life. 
Oh, sweet. Check this view out. I'm glad I went to the internal view for just a minute. So if you ever go into Shoney Gaming streams um, and see Ewald in there, Ewald is who did my um, livery for me. Did an amazing job, an absolutely amazing job. That would be pretty freaking cool, Jolie, jo Jolie, Joey. Um, if they had a had a in-game tanker that you could just fly up and refuel, that would be pretty amazing. Yeah, I just gave Ewald uh, the color that I was looking for. I had to give him the shade of purple. I love purple, so I gave him the shade of purple I was looking for. Um, I love crazy mismatched socks. So I told him I'd like to incorporate sock socks. Of course, not matching one on one side, one on the other, as well as my logo uh, on the plane and then my name across the wings. So he did an amazing job and, and really quick turnaround too. And I thought it was a pretty good price for, for all the work. I know it takes a lot of work to do these custom liveries. Wow, look at those clouds. The golden hour. Lee McKilo Mike back there. Leave my Kilo Mike and Iceman flying along. If anyone else would like to fly along, you are welcome to fly along with us. Oh, it is beautiful, Kim. Yes, it is. You don't have a nose cone on the H145 luxury version, but there may be one on the military version when it comes out. Oh, that would be cool. Do some mid-air refueling then. I am in live weather, but I'm not in live time because it's still dark over the Pacific currently. So, I, I, you know, flying over the Pacific Ocean, no lights except the blinking of my lights. Uh, I didn't think would be very um, conducive to a good stream. <laughs> so I thought I would change the time of day. And I've got about another hour that I can stream. I just had a package delivered to my door. My doorbell just gave me a notification. I'll be streaming for about another hour. And then I'll wrap things up. And I'll be back tomorrow. We'll continue with our Pacific Island tour. really really nice um also before my next stream i will check and see if either in game in in, in microsoft flight sim store or if flight sim.to has um the hawaiian islands that i can upload so we can get some extra details so we'll check on that I did do the add-on, I, I forgot what it's called, but it was on flightsim.to where it shows towers and power lines and stuff. So that's a pretty cool little add-on is cell phone towers and radio towers and stuff as you're flying. You can actually see those um, in 3D. That's a nice little, little addition. It's a pretty big update or a pretty big add-on, I should say. All right, Lee Makilo might looks like they're gaining on me a little bit. Uh, do I need to slow down for you some, Lima? Am I going too fast? Slow down just a little bit. 
all good okay cool Wanted, didn't want to leave you didn't want to leave you behind i'm not sure of the um the airspeed of what you're flying so if you're good i'm good And you know, actually, I said I'd be streaming for about another hour. It may work out time-wise that once we get to this next um, island, I may end up having to land here and end stream. So my wife uh, asked me if I would pick her up something for lunch today. So um, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Once I get to this island, I will land on the island and then I'll end stream so I can pick her up some lunch before she uh before she has to go to lunch she is working today she gets a little jealous when i stream um while she's working but i said hey look it, this is work too i'm working really hard at flying this plane Yes, happy wife, happy life. You better believe it, Joey. And that's why I'm not streaming this afternoon because I got a little bit of a honeydew list that I need to take care of, that I need to take care of. Run some errands and stuff. Oh yes, Kim, it is. It is. This is exactly what she wants to hear is how hard I'm working flying this plane. Got a really good wife i mean i can't complain she doesn't ask much of me but yeah you, you are you are all correct if mama ain't happy nobody happy nobody happy ain't nobody happy you're exactly right uh, but my wife and i have been married since 1989 and really for oops for the majority of our relationship, we know each other really, really well. A lot of that has to do with, you know, just being married for so long, but also um, her and I, you know, a lot of people want to find somebody that's a lot like them, but I'm telling y'all, her and I, are so opposite of each other. We are so much opposites of each other. Um, I love playing video games, I always have. She could care less about video games. She doesn't care anything about streaming. She doesn't care anything about playing video games. So while I secretly wish that my wife was like the average Kim, where, you know, she would, she would be a gamer um it's it's a good thing that she's not because we only have one pc and we'd be arguing about it yeah exactly joey yeah yeah well yeah kim plays more games than furu yes 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 um but yeah i think that's what that's one of the keys to my wife and i having a happy marriage is just that we are opposites of each other we have different likes in food tastes, I love trying new foods. I love exploring new tastes. She could eat the same thing every day for however long in a row. Oh, did we lose Lee McKilo? Oh, cool. Lee McKilo Mike has caught up and is on top. Sweet. Didn't even notice you up there. Sorry about that. I may have to switch to my drone camera. Let's see here, I'm grab my grab my remote here. My Nintendo Pro controller. You're gonna see another aspect of. Wow, well, I've got cables all tangled up. There we go. Another aspect of stream. My Nintendo Pro controller. So I'm gonna go to my drone cam. 
Let's play her in. Nice, that's pretty cool. Yes, a floating head stream. Oh, dang it. Yes, Iceman, I've got to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's something else I need to do. I need to, whoops, I need to create a shared folder so that you guys can see it as well. Make everyone dizzy. There's your air sickness test. Oh, that's a beautiful shot, y'all. I love. <laughs> uh, whisper that to me. Whisper that to me, Iceman. Uh, links, links aren't gonna work. Sorry. Yeah, that'll make a really cool video too. Oh, I messed it up. Dang it. So I do have a drone services business in real life. Uh, so I'm kind of used to the to the controls here and I love doing smooth cinematic motions like that. So let me try this one more time. That was pretty amazing. Oh, okay. Ah, shoot, I messed it up again. Oh, well. So much for the smooth the cinematic motion, right? But that first one, the first time I did it was pretty cool. I'm gonna use it. Hey, that's a pretty cool, just a screenshot right there. Let's come a little bit closer. Go down a little bit. Screenshot, there we go. All right, let me go get out of the drone camera really quick. Fun stuff there, Lima Kilo Mike. Thank you. I'm gonna have to clip that after stream. So, f f uh, is it flightsim.to or just fs.to? I'm gonna email myself. Flight Sim, okay, thank you. Oh, that was stupid. So I can upload it to Flight Sim.to? Oh, Lima Kilo Mike. So the reason why is if I don't own that aircraft, then it's gonna show in a generic, you know, whatever they choose aircraft. So is that one, is that one that comes with the, with the sim or no? If it's not one that comes as part of the original package, I'm not going to have it. I've only bought one, um, one aircraft. And I think that was the Corsair that I bought. So that's why. Oh, if it's in the basic pack, it should be showing. That's really weird. Oh, okay. Well, then if, yeah, if that's why, that's why it's not showing. I didn't buy the deluxe. I bought just the basic. And that's, that's why Iceman's helicopter showing as an airplane as well, because um, I don't have that helicopter. I do have a helicopter uh, that I got off flightsim.to, but... Yeah. So thank you. Several things that I'm going to do before my next stream, which I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow morning, just like just like today. Um, same time. I'm sorry. I keep on. I forget that I have this my control cam and I'm doing all these hand motions over it. Um, I just added that yesterday. So before my next stream, let me make a note of these things. 
I'm going to add my livery, oh, excuse me, my livery to flightsim.to. I'm going to see about custom commands for airspeed and heading. There was something else too. What? Th there was something else that someone had mentioned. Uh, I know the airspeed command, the heading command. It seems like there was something else. Um, I do have some commands like ETE. So we're still nine hours and 40 minutes away from our final Hawaiian Island, which is crazy. I had no idea it was going to take that long. It seems like there was something else too that I was going to do, but I don't remember exactly what I was going to add. Um, y'all, I'm going to take one more quick potty break and then, uh, that should get me through to the end of the stream and a raid. So y'all hang tight. Enjoy. You love the H135, 145 and the R44 so far in the sim. That's what I like about some of the more popular aircraft is they're continuously and the game itself the sim itself they are continuously doing improvements to make it better and that that is just so freaking amazing all right y'all enjoy some uh, holiday music some christmas music i'll be right back in about two minutes getting a little bit closer so here's here's going to be the final destination for today's stream uh right here we're still about 40 miles out or yeah 40 nautical miles out i'm gonna change my head i'm probably just gonna go ahead and knock um knock autopilot off and manually fly it fly on in there and i'll i'll attempt a landing a bush landing with this aircraft See how that goes and then uh, we'll find someone to raid Let's see how this works So I'll be back tomorrow morning, um, probably between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, just like today, and I'll be streaming for about the same period of time, uh, between two and three hours. Um, I would not cut the stream short today. I would have kept on going had it not been for uh, my wife 
need me to pick her up some food. So I'm going to be a... going to be a nice... A nice husband and take care of my wife. Alright, let's, uh, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to this island. Let's look at the shape of the island and determine which way I'm going to fly in. So, yeah, good. I'm kind of heading the right direction, so I'm going to try to land this way. The wind is blowing towards us, so that's a good thing. So hopefully, hopefully I can stick this landing. For those of you that are new to my channel, um, my landings are horrendous. I'm still, I still struggle with landing, so. Oh, well, how did you sneak in here? Um, that's a first. Wow, I have not had a, a follower's message in a long time because I've got it to where um, Automod catches those bots. So sorry about that bot message, y'all. They are currently banned. I don't put up any bots on my channel. Yeah, it does happen. That's the first time in, I mean, months and months since I've had a bot message though because I've got it um, I've got it where Automod deletes anything that has um, follows.com or bigfollows.com so they must have changed their URL or something to something that would fly under the radar, no pun intended change camera view, get back in the cockpit Yeah, it, it's, it does happen, and it really irritates me. Uh, these bot messages are really irritating. Just realized I'm getting awful close to the water. Yeah, I guess that's how they slid under the under the radar, huh? Still got a little ways to go before we re reach our island, but I want to go ahead and go to the internal view. I have not attempted a landing using external view yet. So uh, I don't think this would probably be a good time to experiment with that since uh, we're going to be flying on a uh, landing, excuse me, on an island that has no runway. Not a good time to be experimenting out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. You know what i think i'm further away than i thought i was so i'm going to shoot i should have i should have recorded my heading i'm gonna change my heading again um y'all i'm changing to a heading of 135 a heading of 135 i did put autopilot back on because um, I'm a little bit further away than what I was what I thought I was there we go bring my engine rpm back down yeah 
And I'm going to change my heading a little bit more. I'm going to change it to 140. Was oh, it heading 160 for you? Thank you. No, it's probably the same island. Let's see. 160. I need to learn to use the navigation controls. Now, I think we're looking at a different island, um, Lima Kilo Mike. So what I'm looking at, <clears throat> at a heading of 160, I'm, I'm missing it. Although, eh, it's close enough. So this this is the island, and then this is I'm I'm heading 160 now. So I'm gonna I'm off by just a little bit, but that's cool. I mean I can always I'll just knock autopilot off and adjust. So no no biggie. enable this heading circle in little nav map then you also see your track which is affected by oh really uh direct me where where is the heading circle I, I, um, I probably should spend more time off stream flight simming and learning these things, but, uh, control alt D. Okay. Oh, whoa. That's a, that's a game changer. Yeah. So you're correct. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm going to save that. Wow, thank you so much for that. Yeah, that'll take me right to it. But yeah, little nav map is amazing. I did, I knew it had a ton of capabilities. And like I said, I just don't take the time that I should when I'm not streaming to, to learn these things. Because usually if I'm not streaming, I'm either, you know, I'm busy doing something else or uh, my wife and I are spending time together. And so because the streaming room is, we, we got a long house and the streaming room is on the opposite side of the house from where we live and watch TV and all that stuff. So if I'm in here, I'm not spending time with my family and... and so anyways yeah so i don't take the time that i should to learn these things thank you Yeah, yeah, family time definitely takes priority over anything else in my life. And and then we have two grandkids too. We've got an eight year old and a nine year no, excuse me, a eight year old and a seven year old um, grandchildren. And so they they really take the priority. I am going to go ahead and switch off of autopilot now. 
we're um, coming inside the airspace of this island now getting close about uh 20 miles no less than 20 miles out now so go ahead and knock autopilot off and change my heading just a little bit but wow i love this this is really cool that helps tremendously thank you for showing me that lima kilo mike that helps a heck of a lot. All right, this should put us right in line with the island. We still have Iceman and Lima Kilo Mike with us. Yeah, hey, it takes everybody um, to, to figure all these things out. And once again, I truly do appreciate um, my viewers and everyone's willingness to help as I navigate these new waters, no pun intended. So I'm flying, I'm ge getting off course a little bit as I was adjusting my camera view. All right, coming up. Coming up on the island, um, probably 10 miles out. With me being at such a low altitude, I'm probably not going to see it. Oh, you, you can see it? So, cool. I can't see it yet. Uh, what altitude are you at, Lima Kilo? Okay, so you're at about a thousand feet. Okay, so I'm at I'm right at six hundred feet. So it's gonna come up on me pretty quickly because I'm flying so low. Huh. So low, I'm flying so low. Go ahead and put my flaps down. <clears throat> Get ready. I've got to buy an anti-slip mat for my rudder pedals. We've got hardwood floors in here. <laughs> and um, If I keep my feet on them for too long, the pedals just slide slowly forward. Yeah, I, I can feel them sliding right now as I have my feet on my, on my pedals. Okay, I think I'm seeing the land now. Oh my goodness. This right here may be it. slow down way down i need to slow way down can't come in too hot on this island good lord if that's the island it looks really short So this will be my first non-runway landing, my first bush landing. Hopefully we don't sink into the ocean. I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. I definitely don't want to stall. Which I think stall speed for this airplane is, is fairly low. I want to say it's 40 knots. 
with the flaps fully extended. Yeah, so normal landing speed is between 50 and 75 knots. Excuse me, 65 and 75 knots. So I'm, I'm right in that window of 75 knots right now. According to my little instrument. Dang, this is a small piece of land. Will I be able to land this and stop without going off the edge? This is probably going to be the most challenging landing I've had as a flight simmer. Slow down a little bit more. Lima, I see Lima Kilo Mike off to my right side. See the weather weather just changed on us. All right, so we're at 500 feet, <clears throat> 74 knots, 72 knots, 71 knots, 70 knots. I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. I definitely, like I said, I don't want to stall and crash into the ocean. So here we go. Let's see. 500 feet. <clears throat> I'm sure this land is just barely above sea level, so should be good. Um, as far as that aspect goes. My first bush landing. I'm going to turn the music off. Full concentration. I need full concentration. Here we go. Will I make it? Will I make it? I can't tell you the number of passengers that I've lost during landings. Will this one be a successful landing or is this going to be another air traffic disaster? The Makilo Mike looks like they're coming in. I am at 250 feet above sea level right now. <clears throat> Uh, that's that's probably a good idea Tomas. just for time's sake though um, I'm gonna try just landing <laughs> I'm just gonna try to land in here and see what happens and uh, I'll, I'll probably get a I'll probably get a feel a literal feel for the trees and, and, and a, a live idea of what the trees are um, I, I should over there where Lima Kilo Mike is uh, looks like there's beach and I'm heading that direction but all I see is tree uh, not trees but I see I see green uh, so here we go here we go <laughs> Jess Jess thank you so much for the raid holy crap welcome raiders welcome raiders I am scruffy Tam oh look the water 
water's getting used up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jess. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Y'all picked a crazy time to raid because I'm about to land. Why wasn't the water getting used up earlier? For the first time on land. I'm it not using a runway. Interesting. And we survived. What? What? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Welcome Raiders, welcome Raiders. I am Scruffy Tam, a longtime gamer. I've uh, been streaming for a little bit, oh, more than a year, and I am currently addicted hey, to... It's time to load up the sled. Thank you so much, Kim. My gosh. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the 100 bitties. Um, yes, a floating head stream today. So I forgot. I forgot that this shirt, um, you know, kind of um, is, a, is a green screen shirt. So sorry about that. Uh, Yuki, welcome. Welcome to the sock drawer. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. And also, <laughs> Eliza List. Eliza List, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Oh, you love, you love that. Yes, a floating head stream today. Um, and y'all, I was about to wrap up my stream. So we're going to go find someone to raid um, as well. But Jess, how was your stream, Jess? Y'all were doing Stardew, huh? Little Stardew Valley. Uh, thank you for the raid. Um, again, I call my channel the sock drawer because just like just like a uh, a pair of crazy mismatched socks, my community is made up of different uh, colors, different sizes, different shapes of people. But just like humans in real life, we're all humans. Um, and so anyways, my channel is made up of, uh, of a lot of people with different beliefs, different shapes, different sizes, colors, but we all have one thing in common. We love gaming. You got some goals in on Stardew. Sweet, sweet. Um, so anyways, y'all please come, please follow me and come back and next time I stream, um, I hope you'll enjoy it. So what we were doing, let me show you really quick what we were doing today though. Um, before I wrap things up it's the holidays, holidays. We were oh no problem ice man no problem at all I had this I had this idea let me switch to I had this idea of flying the Hawaiian Islands, right? So I said hey, what an awesome idea. I'll fly the Hawaiian Islands. Well The problem is here's here's the Hawaiian Island. Will you stop? Okay, it keeps on trying to recenter the Hawaiian Islands are over here. And so I said, okay, what I'll do is I'll fly all of these little islands, a little sightseeing tour, right? And when I built the flight plan, it showed my ETA as being three hours, just like it does now. Once I started flying, it changed to 11 hours. So we flew from, we flew from here Midway Wildlife Refuge to uh, what we have named Pork Chop Island. We we dubbed this island Pork Chop Island, and then we flew down here. Anyways, so what was going to be a short um, flight ended up being a lot longer. 